me on top. City on lock, they like when he gon' drop. We ain't had enough. Speaking down, but they know who coming up. And I'm still on my way. But the top don't look too far for me. Never caught off, not one too far for me. Never caught off, not one day. Never caught off, not one day. But I'm still on my way. Greetings, it's 2K Sports bringing you live coverage of the NBA. This is our Sunday night broadcast. Brian Anderson here with me, Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson. Joining us courtside is Allie LaForce. And here we are in October. Let's see how things are going out west. You look at Sacramento, and they've got the top spot in the conference, a testament to their hard work all year long. And, of course, Los Angeles, they're a ways down in the standings. Right now, for Sacramento, I recall them having a lot of naysayers at the start of the season. But now, they may not have any. This team is ready for a deep playoff run. Even though some people doubted them, there are just as many people, if not more, who believed in this team from the very beginning. And it's pretty clear right now who was right. So let's take a look at the Los Angeles Lakers starting lineup. Reeves and LeBron fill out the perimeter. Christian Wood out there with Rui Achimura. And it's Russell in at the one. And for Sacramento, Murray and Sabonis are the bigs. Then there's Kevin Herter. Then there's De'Aaron Fox. And it's Shake and Bake in at the shooting guard position. Rivalry games, Grant, always extra spicy, especially when they feature teams from the same conference. Ooh, I like a little spice. But remember, only one team per conference gets to the final. So that's going to naturally develop some rivalries here and there. So tonight should be a really competitive game. Now here's Fox. Really played well against Golden State in his last game. On the wing, Murray. Back to Fox. Clock at six. Late clock here. The Kings need to get one up. Herder gets the bucket. He's... system from out there especially when you give them that kind of room and so James will bring it up for Los Angeles it's a three-point game about a minute into this first quarter here's Reeves in his last outing 10 points for him it's stolen away it's Herter on the wing. No good on the triple. Russell against Fox. Here's Reeves. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. And this is exactly how Russell does solid assist numbers. I mean, just great delivery on that play. And he drives in. And that one's good. Shake and bake. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Now, here is James. Pass to Achimura. Back to James. Shot clock at five. Over Herter. The shot by James. No good. And he's very confident from that range. But he can't make them all. Russell against Fox. Pass to Shake and Bake. James with a steal. And it's the Lakers on the break. Wood misses. For Sacramento, they've gone two of three from the floor. Fox with the ball. Russell covering from the high post. And it's Fox missing. And so it's James with it. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Trailing by two. They couldn't put the pieces together. Losing that last matchup with Phoenix. I really think that L has to fall on their defense or a lack thereof. Just not enough focus at that end of the floor. Some of it was solid shooting from their opponent, but they didn't have any teeth with their defense. Need to be more active than they were. Outside Murray. Pass to Shake and Bake. 
Picked by Sabonis to the inside. And Sabonis slams it in. Excellent body control by Sabonis, rolling off the pick and into position. Here's Russell. And a missed layup. Sacramento has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Well, the Lakers hired Darvin Ham to be their head coach back in 2022. Grant, that proved to be a great move. I agree, B.A. I mean, Ham was an assistant for a decade in the league, earned his spot as the main guy, and Darvin was a really tough player, too. I mean, he went undrafted and won a title with the Pistons against the Lakers. Counted from distance. A smart decision maker with a versatile skill set. Hachimura always takes the shots that he's comfortable with. Sabonis finds Fox. Herder with it. Pass to Sabonis. And Sabonis slams it in. Yeah, I like that he's not taking any chances there. Sabonis goes up strong with the finish. James deciding where to go with it. Here he goes. And it's James with the jam. It's very difficult to slow him down defensively, especially when you have communication problems. Fox against Russell. Fox, the pass to shake and bake. Outside Herder. Sabonis, right side. Yep, that one goes. Sabonis has got his third bucket of the night. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. James passes to Russell. Back to James. Launches it. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Russell's got three assists in the game. He's coming to work, ready to ball. Hitting three of his first four shots. Okay. Fox. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, Grant, going into these back-to-back -back games, do you think coaches are more conscious of the disbursement of minutes in the first game? You know, they have an idea of the total number of minutes they want their superstar in over the two-day period. But it really comes down to how this first game goes. And he drops the first. One of the fastest guys in the league. For Fox, it's about using his blinding quickness to his advantage on both ends of the floor. Monk, he's checked in for the Kings. And both free throws good for Fox. The Lakers trail. Now here's Russell. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Phoenix. Here's Reeves. He's covered by Fox. Here's Wood. Again, the Lakers. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Now here's Fox. Pass to Murray. Wood grabs the board. The Lakers have got six of ten attempts to fall. The three, James. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Here's Shaken Big. He's another guy who had a great performance in that win against Golden State. The three is up. He can't get that one to fall. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. And with this pause, a check on the stats to show you which teams led the league in assists last year. In third, the Kings. It was true team basketball we saw out of them. Always willing to work together, no one making himself bigger than the team. Sacramento has gone one for three from beyond the arc. And it's blocked by Wood. The length of Wood just covers so much ground, as you can see there with that fantastic block. Fires for three. Missed it. Three for six now. And so Murray will bring it up for Sacramento. Monk passes to Fox. Back to Monk. 
Sabonis with a screen on James. Five on the clock. Rebound, the Lakers. Woods got four rebounds in the game. Hachimura against Monk. Fade away. And the basket by Hachimura. Hachimura's got five points. And you can expect him to make it when the D is trash like that. Timeout called. The Kings. Kings making a change here. Turner's checked in. The Lakers also with a sub. Vanderbilt's checked in. And so here's Sacramento, trailing by two. There's a screen. Here's Fox. Again, the miss by the Kings. Los Angeles has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Hachimura, the pass to Vanderbilt. Here's Reeves. Russell deciding where to go with it. Let's go with a three. Rebounded by Fox. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. Hachimura against Monk. Outside Murray. Pass to Shake and Bake. Five to shoot. Yes! And it's Murray picking up the assist. He's got five. Looks like it could be a big night for him. Very strong start here in the first quarter. Russell, the pass to Reeves. Now Hachimura. Outside Vanderbilt. Here's Reeves. This one for three. The rebound by Murray. Richard, when you look at Austin Reeves' road to the NBA, it's a pretty inspiring story. Yeah, undrafted out of college, signing a two-way contract with the Lakers and making the most out of his opportunity, really improving year by year. Offensive rebound. Monk, three-pointer. Nope, another miss. 0 for 2 to start the game. Russell against Fox. Pass to Vanderbilt. Hachimura with the ball. Shoots over Monk. A good looking shot from the wing. Hachimura's gotten his third basket of the night. Sacramento has gone just 2 for 6 from the arc here in the first. Fox the pass to Turner. Here's Shake and Bake. Monk for three. Rebounded by the Lakers. Woods got five rebounds tonight. With the step back. Fox against Russell. Hachimura outside. A shot from the high post. Again, the Lakers score. He's been perfect this quarter. They keep feeding him, and he keeps delivering. The Kings trailing. Pass to Shake and Bake. Back to Fox. Now Monk. Shot clock at six. Turner, a screen on Russell. And the layup falls. You look at Fox now compared to when he entered the league. He is so much more physical. There's a minute 47 left in the first. Pass to Vanderbilt. Hachimura from long range. Again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. Keep riding that hot hand. He's been pretty much unstoppable. Fox against Russell. Inside. Turner. Here's Shake and Bake. Now Turner. No points so far. Pass to Shake and Bake. And there's the drive. It's stolen. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. Wood with it. 
the shot off that time. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. Outside Murray. Monk for three. Rebound, the Lakers. Russell with the ball. There's 39 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Well, the Kings shooting about 40% in the early stages of this game. Monk passes to Fox. Driving in. Vanderbilt pulls it in. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. Pass to Wood. Right side, Vanderbilt. And here's Hachimura, defended by Murray. Outside, Russell. Over Monk. The shot by Russell, no good. And so it's Rui Achimura making things happen for the Lakers. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. More 2K action in just a moment. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Well, so far, their long-range shooting has been the story, doing damage from deep. Yeah, also, you got to appreciate how unselfish they've been. I mean, the ball movement has been impressive, and the assist numbers are off the chart. And so in the game for the Lakers... LeBron and Vanderbilt are the three and four. Cam Reddish is out there with Gabe Vincent. And it's Hayes in at the five spot. Now here's Mitchell. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Well, Richard, now a veteran who's been around the league, Trey Lyles understands his role and plays it really well. Yeah, which is to help space the floor with his shooting. He continues to prove how reliable he is from deep. I also really like his shot selection, B.A. First one falls. And Grant, these days, more and more teams emphasize the importance of switch defense. It's so true in the modern NBA, B.A. Every team has to be able to switch to take away a lot of the action of the offensive team. So having defenders who can guard multiple players on the court is a must. That one falls, so he hits both of them. It can help a big man's game to hit those free throws. It keeps the defense from getting too aggressive. Pass to Vanderbilt. Reddish on the wing. The shot, no good. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the Sacramento Kings. Trailing by two, fresh off a win against the Warriors. Oh man, they were in total control. Really doing anything they wanted. <laughs> it was that level of dominance. It really is fun seeing an offensive function like a well-oiled machine. I'll be interested to see if they can keep doing this. Now, here is James. He had a 24-point outing in their last game against Phoenix. He was everywhere in that game. Never stopped working. Even racked up three blocks. Here's Mitchell. Pass to Sabonis. in the layup for two. Now it's a three-point Sacramento lead. Such a tenacious player inside. Sabonis doesn't settle and gets his shot. James outside to halt the run. Count it. Vincent's got his first points of the game. Here's Mitchell. 
Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Pass to Monk. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Six on the shot clock. Back to Lyles. Puts up a three. It's Hayes with the rebound. The Lakers have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Here's James. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Now nobody spends more time in the paint than LeBron James. He knows he's going to get the contact, and he still goes in there. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Kings. Well, they're off to a good start getting it inside and scoring at close range. Solid fundamentals so far in this one. And not only take that, they're off to a, a pretty hot start Two shooting shots. from outside. They seem locked in tonight. That free throw, good from James. LeBron James going to the free throw line. Let's just say it's not his most accurate of positions, but hey, even players like him got to have things that need to work on. So the Kings making a change here. Herter's checked in. Hachimura's checked in for the Lakers. Russell comes in for Reddish. He's off on the second. This team thinks they should be up in front, but at least they tied it up. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. LeBron James is sustaining greatness into his late 30s. He said, quote, as long as my mind stays in it, I can play at this level for a while. My body is going to be okay because I always make sure to take care of it and I put the work in. And Brian, call it mind over matter or the fountain of youth, whatever you want to call it, LeBron's work continues to pay off. Indeed, no question about that. Thank you, Ali. And it's good for two. achimura has got 14 points for the game. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone until someone stops him. Just let him roll. Herder gets the bucket. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. James passes to Achimura. Takes a three. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. Achimura's got five points in the quarter. Outside Monk. Pass to Mitchell. Sabonis with a screen on Russell. Now Herder from outside the arc. Achimura with a rebound. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Vanderbilt, the pass to Achimura. The Kings leading. Outside Monk. Count that bucket. He's got five. Nice dribble move to get to the hoop for an easy two. The Lakers have got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. James passes to Vincent. Back to James. The three. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. And their first look at this year's Lakers squad. And this is a matchup they expect to win. Certainly, last year they were the stronger ball club. And a quick look at how the Sacramento Kings schedule is shaping up. On Wednesday, they'll go up against Chris Paul and the Golden State Warriors. And then on Saturday, they'll be playing the Rockets in Houston. What a great opportunity for this team to take a step forward. They have some tough road games coming up, and that kind of stretch can bring a team together. Winning some of these games would be huge for their overall confidence. First free throw is good. Woods checked in for Vanderbilt. Gets them both. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. Los Angeles has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Hachimura outside. Pass to Wood. Oh, 
Mitchell against Russell. James with the ball. Fires from deep. Mitchell grabs a miss. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Here, shake and bake from downtown. From the arc. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. He came out today planning to do as much damage from three-point range as possible. Well, it looks like it's time to change up the plan, guys. In the paint, LeBron James is capable of running right over the defender. That is athletic. Pass to shake and bake. Outside Herder. Let's the three fly. Hachimura with a rebound. Hachimura's got four rebounds now. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Give the defender credit. Willing to challenge the shot. Lots of other guys just let them score there. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Herder. Up and over Russell. And there's Herder. That's good. On the assist by Mitchell. Herder's got 10. Look, they are in front right now because of him. He keeps draining these shots at a ridiculous clip. Oh, LeBron! Just too much to handle inside. <laughs> yeah, that's just, he, he's just a big dude. He just brushes by defenders and on his way up, it's just easy. Herder passes to Shake and Bake. Pass to Lyles. Here's Shake and Bake from deep three-point land. Russell with the rebound. He's been off. Still, they're up, so not all is lost. Here's Vincent. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Russell's got four assists now tonight. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Mitchell drives in, and he banks in the layup. And the Kings lead by two. Such a talented passer at his position. Sabonis is all about making winning plays. The Lakers call timeout. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. We're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Turner, he's checked in for the Kings. Fox comes in for Mitchell. Vanderbilt's checked in for the Lakers. Reeves comes in for Vincent. Los Angeles has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Pass to Reeves. Russell against Fox. Back to Reeves. And stolen by Herter. And pushing it up. Here's Sacramento. And Fox powers it home. Look at Fox get up. Okay, I see you flexing on him. Russell against Fox. Here's Reeves. And here's Hachimura. Over Herder. And it's Hachimura missing. How did he break that one? He smoked it. Everything was set up for that to be an easy basket. Here's Reeves. He can't get it to go. Oh, some solid defense from Fox. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. They lead by four. Turner finds Fox. Hitting his third shot in seven looks. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Fox against Russell. 
Pass to Reeves. There's the three. They get the rebound. Achimura. And it's slammed in by Achimura. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on the sidelines with every offensive board. Here's Shake and Bake. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. This has not been his best quarter. Yeah, he needs to mix things up on the offense. He simply just can't keep missing shots at this rate because he's destroying his teammates. Sacramento shooting pretty well at 45%. Outside Herter. Sinks it from distance. Herter's got eight points in the quarter. That's his second triple of the quarter and third of the game. Keep building. Los Angeles has got six out of 15 threes so far in this game. Wood passes to Vanderbilt. Here's Reeves. Over to the left wing. Here's Achimura. That one's true. And that's nine for 12 for him now. The Kings leading. Here's Shake and Bake. He's got five. Two minutes remaining in the first half. And out of bounds, Los Angeles will have it. While we have a moment, let's check out the highest scoring teams in the league last season. Number one, Sacramento. The way this team played on the offensive end last year was remarkable. Seemed like every night they got everything they wanted and then some. Los Angeles has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Russell, the pass to Achimura. One forty-four left in the second. You got to move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. Really left it alone that time. And the Kings lead by eight. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. To the middle. Outside for Russell. Wood with the screen. Russell into the lane. Floats one up. Back to Wood. And Wood with the stuff. Well, Wood's reach and vertical is an effective combination. He gets up over the defense. tell you a little extra pressure on D when you're up against a point guard who can elevate ha, it doesn't make it easy does it yeah hard to strategize for a guy who can make a pass or a play like this right in your face shot is good by Reeves and this is what point guards like Russell are responsible for setting the table for his guys boy you love how guys are making plays for one another here yeah just a balanced attack a total team effort now here's Turner Pass to Shake and Bake. Here's Lyles. Guarded by Vanderbilt. Just five on the clock. Turner passes to Lyles. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Los Angeles has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. Russell against Fox. Reeves the pass to Achimura. And the Lakers tack on two more. Now here's Fox. With one on the clock. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. It's been all about Kevin Herter for the Kings. Hit a couple from downtown this quarter. And don't go far. We'll be right back. Welcome everybody to halftime. NBA action abounds. Let's see what games are tipping off later. For the Spurs, they'll be up against the Clippers out in Los Angeles. Tip off is 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. Gentlemen, I can't wait for that game. We've been talking about it for a while. 
Two great teams just going at it. We'll see which style of play wins out. And let's take a look at this first half of play for the Kings. Not a lot of separation here at the midway point. Well, they got the extra credit for their hustle on the glass. Playing with great energy and intensity, they came into this game determined not to be outworked. And what I like, it's pretty much every possession. They just don't take many plays off. Thanks for tuning in. Now it's time to head back over to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter.